Today, let's talk about the flatten transformation ADF data flows. Flatten is very powerful. It allows you to take an incoming data structure that is a complex data type or hierarchical that has arrays in it. You take those arrays, and you can unroll those values. So each value within that array can become a separate row within your target data set. It becomes very useful when you're doing things like flattening from a hierarchical structure to a flattened structure or to a relational structure or from hierarchy to another hierarchy. Let me uh, give you some examples. I think it'll become a little bit clearer as we play through some examples. So on uh, my design service, I've already primed it with a data flow. And let's start by looking at my source. My source is a Cosmos DB database. So I have orders in there. I have the traditional orders. Uh, I believe I got it from the Northwind uh, database, which I have stored as JSON objects that have both the orders detail and the orders header together in a single JSON document. Let me go over to the Azure Cosmos DB viewer and give you an example. So here's one of my documents and you see the order headers at the top with the IDs, the primary keys, some dates, and the details here is within this array a product ID, unit price, quantity discount. So what I want to do is I want to load this from my JSON style, my JSON document. I want to load this into a relational table. I want to store this now in my Azure SQL data view as I create the relational structure is I want to create some calculated columns. I want to take this unit price and the quantity, I want to multiply that together to get the total amount for each one of these documents, each one of these rows within my database. So here's how you do that in Data Factory with the flatten transformation. So my source is the Cosmos TB. So um, one of the things I do do when I set my source options for a Cosmos DB source is I do make sure I have enough throughput set. This is dynamic throughput. It'll only be valid for the t execution of this ETL job. It's very useful and helpful and saves a little bit of money as well. And then I can go over to my data preview to take a look at the data. So the data is actually just as I saw within the uh, JSON document viewer from my Cosmos DB. The structures, these are all just flat key values here. The structures are here. The shipping address is a structure. And then the details is an array. To see the arrays in the data preview, in the data factory, just click on the ellipsis and you get the values within that array. This is all fine. This is good. This is um, hierarchical. This is also a complex type. I can't store this down in my sync in my SQL DB until I do some flattening of it. So I'm going to put a flatten transformation. You'll find flatten under schema modifier. It is essentially denormalizing your data. And so it, it falls under the same area as a pivot, unpivot, those sorts of transformations. It's a schema modifier. So what I can do is I can flatten that array using the flatten transformation. So that's that flatten that details now becomes a structure just like this. Now I can work with that. And so what happens is every value within that uh, array would become duplicated or denormalized in my target data. So the way you do that is on the settings for your flatten you simply tell us, tell ADF, what is the array that you want to unroll by. And you see only arrays are going to show on your list of valid unroll by options. You can also choose which part of the hierarchy that you want to unroll to with the unroll root. I'm just going to leave it default because that works just fine by me. And you can set the column names that you generate. You can set your projection essentially here under input columns. And I'm going to leave the projection as it is. That looks just now I'll use the derived column to generate that total amount. The total amount is going to be generated from a multiplying of the quantity and the unit price. Now those two properties are inside of the details structure, which was an array that we flattened out to a structure. But notice in derived columns, all I get is the high level. I get the top level root details. That's fine. You select that and go into your expression builder. Now what you can do is we have this insert explicit structure shortcut right next to complex types. So let's take that details and we'll click on that and we get the full expression language uh, structure for details and click save and now I'll be able to see all the different individual columns over here. So now I want to add to the details structure. I want to add the total amount. So I'm going to add a new column and we'll call this total amount. So I'm going to leave this as a <clears throat> as a string just like the other columns are. What I'll do is I'll just convert those on the fly two integers so I can do the math on this. So the math is going to be, and first of all, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to keep this as a string so I can format it. And the formatting I'll use is going to be uh, currency style. So we'll do it that way with the pound, 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 dot, pound, pound. And then we'll do a rounding here to give it a nice a round number. And we're going to scale that out to two so we get the sense within that. Now the dollar amount is going to be, we have to convert to integer. We will convert 
first the quantity. So quantity is here inside the, inside the structure of details and we can click quantity, there we go. Multiply that by the integer of you know, price, which is right there. All right, so there we go. We can test our logic by doing a refresh. And what we should see is each of the individual properties on the right-hand side, left-hand side should be the math and formatting of those values. Everything looks pretty good. I think that's fine. So let's save and finish. Now when we sync, what we're going to be able to do is map this to a database table. So I'm calling my database table. I have insert, recreate the table every time I run this. My table is over here in this data set called dbo.cosmosdborders. This is now going to load into an Azure SQL database table. So back on my flatten orders data flow, I will just do the mapping. Now for the mapping, let me take these off so I can show you how this is done. These were the individual fields. These are just key values all the way up to ship name. I had a couple of structures in there and only one different, only one couple of properties within those. So let's do it. Let me show you how you do that. So from the, um, the ship address was a hierarchical structure and I don't want that entire thing. And I can't store that as, as that uh, within a table. So what I want to do is just take the, I just want the city and the postal code is good enough for me. So city, uh, ship address dot city becomes city. That looks fine to me. And then we'll also do the postal code as postal code is good. Now let's get that, uh, that field that we just created, which is inside of details. Nest down here, total amount, and that becomes total amount. Everything looks good, validates. Fantastic, save. Let's do a quick data preview so that we make sure that our logic is correct. And there we see the quantity and the ship city and the postal code, so everything looks good. So we're ready to run it. Let's go over to our pipeline, and we have flattened orders right here as a mapping data flow. And we're in debug mode, so let's go ahead and kick it off and see what we get. This should take a little bit less than one minute to execute. I'm going to pause and come right back to you. Okay, so pipeline is done with mapping data flow ran. We go over to our SQL Server Management Studio, and now we have the complex data types flattened out, um, generated computer columns in Azure SQL Database, and we converted from our JSON into our Azure SQL Database table. And then back here on the ADF screen, we see that the debug ran successfully and that it took only 38 seconds to execute. So thanks for watching. See you next time.